first of all apologies for the um the slightly industrial soundtrack i think we've just gone to full spin cycle upstairs oh there we go so that might be in the background a little bit apologies for that but uh tide time taxes and washing wait for no man or woman right so today i'm going to be talking about a brand of sketch pads that i've had a bit of a play with um there i think it's hanamul or hanamule i'm not sure but um i believe they're german and uh i just wanted to show you just some really quick samples um now this isn't a paid promotion these have all been bought myself i have probably i've been really sketching now for three four years properly back into it and i've already accumulated probably 25 sketchbooks uh which is yeah it's quite a lot so when i bought some of these i was really trying some new things so so this is a, a sketchbook that i do which is called a, a cappuccino it's 120 uh g m squared so grams per meter squared so it's thin paper so good for sketching with um fountain pens pencils stuff like that you wouldn't necessarily want to drench it in a lot of watercolor uh, because it would just go super super wobbly so basically the reason why i bought this sketchbook is i wanted to do some humans human forms some sort of life drawing but don't really get to go to life drawing classes like i did once and did enjoy doing them so i basically tried to find some uh internet websites where you can have live models pictures of live models now believe me going on the internet and looking for naked people um you it's a journey of discovery let's be honest but i did manage to find there is a few websites out there that provide free life model poses uh of, of people so human people real life human people so basically what i did is i would sit down and have a coffee and i would do some uh sort of life drawing in here the thin paper doesn't really matter for stuff like this. Um, so yeah, that's what I use that for, one for. And I think it's actually very good. I can't remember what they'll price that, but it's one of the nice things about using a toned paper is you've got your mid-tones already. So if you have a white uh, highlighter or a gel pen, which I use a lot, or a chalk pen, or that can be your highlights. And then, so you only really need two different sort of media, really, something white, something dark. And then your mid-tones are already actually on the paper, which is a different way of working. But again, you can, you'll learn a lot from that. I still am. On a similar vein, uh, I bought this pad, which is grey. Now, it's a bit thicker. It's a bit thicker. I need to figure out which one this is again, so you'll have to forgive me. So this is a slightly different book. This is what they call a watercolour book, but it's toned again. It's grey. It's, it's Quite a light grey uh, and I bought this again just to try and experiment with some different toned paper so here you can see a really nice little simple sketch where the white becomes the highlights again it's pretty nice paper it's probably not textured enough for me it's it's pretty smooth very regular uh, texture but it's 200 gsm so you can really whack some uh, water on there I haven't really done a lot with that that's 14 centimeters by 14 which is really nice size but it's not quite pocket size it's not like a sort of a six pad um but it's pretty cool size and the paper's good quality a bit too smooth for me i think but so there's those pads there that i've been playing with there are um Obviously, one of those is A5 and one of those is 14 by 14. That's the cappuccino and the grey. Now, the cappuccino is thin paper, good for sketching, no good for watercolour. The watercolour pad is fine for watercolour. So, they do a, again, and this is a, a white watercolour pad, which I started playing with some gouache in. So, the cappuccino pad is 40 pages, so that's 80 sides. And the watercolour pads are um, 30 pages and 60 sides. Obviously, these are thicker paper. Now, the Hanamool watercolour pad, which I've got here, is A5 landscape. Um, and they do portraits and they do different sizes. But I would say that the paper is 
is nice quality. It, again, it's if you like if you want something that's not rough, not smooth, and is pretty much in the middle, then I would say these are pretty average. There's a loop. The paper is really good. It sucks in the color. Uh, it doesn't. It's not quite as absorbent as something like Cardi paper. Uh, it's not quite as thirsty, and the water can sit on the surface a little bit more, which I've noticed with some manufacturers. It's it's maybe how much the paper's compressed. I'm not really sure, but things like moleskins, the water tends to stay on the surface, and it takes a lot longer to sort of be absorbed, whereas Cardi paper just just gets sucked in. Uh, but they're good quality pads. I mean, this is a uh, 100% vegan linen pad. Um, no leather, no cow. Um, so yeah, I would say they're very good. They're, they're very good pads. I don't think they stand out as being anything special. But the problem with sketchbooks is sketchbooks rarely do, if you know what I mean, because you don't necessarily want them to be the, the heroes. You want them just to be a nice, consistent, uh, reliable media. So yeah, I would I recommend them definitely. Um, they're not the cheapest, um, but I want to finish on something slightly different. Uh, now, Hanamul or Hanamule do something called an accordion sketch pad. Now, if you've never done one of these, I really recommend it because they are a lot of fun. Ten panels. Um, so if you if you want to do a big panorama, uh, which you can see here, I will zoom across. They're absolutely brilliant for that, and not again, not too textured. Um, you can see that some of the sort of cauliflower things here, as the water, because they're not super absorbent, you get some quite nice sort of cauliflower effects. But anyway, yeah, they're, they're great fun. And one of the things I like to do with these, or I have done previously, I don't know whether I'll do it this year, but for things like Christmas presents, you just choose a view that you know somebody loves. Um, a view of their hometown or where they visited and do what a single drawing in a little concertina pad there's no pressure for them to put it up on a wall uh, they can just tuck it away uh, and politely go oh yeah that's great thanks and then never look at it again or throw it in the bin um, whereas giving somebody a picture I feel particularly if it's sort of frame there's an assumption that they're going to actually like it and there's a gift that's that's quite a, a it's quite an, an unusual legacy <laughs> Um, now Hannibal will do these which are about five centimeters by five centimeters and I've actually done these people they are so much fun and again they are and I don't think they're ten panels one two three four five yeah they are ten but that's including those end bits so if you can if you do some I mean you could just do some little tiny portraits of the family on each or again a little panorama view or you could just do a ladder with a lot of dolphins climbing it. I don't know why you'd do that. Maybe if you were a little bit um, crazy. Um, so yeah, you just you could use your imagination. So if you've never tried a tone sketchbook, definitely get one and have a play with that. They are a lot of fun. And if you've never tried an accordion sketchbook, as you can see, perfect for pictures of stades in North Yorkshire. And let's face it, everybody wants to draw stades in North Yorkshire. Um, <coughs> get one of these because they are great fun. Uh, right, okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Another little ramble through my sketchbook world. And um, I'll be doing more products and stuff as we go. Hopefully some of you found this useful. So please like and subscribe. It all helps the channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.